It's cold outside. Hey, band up. My young is coming for the free throw. Free throw. And the moose. It's long, little low. Get me a freak, I'm in last night. Get me a freak, I'm in last night. Get me a freak, I'm going no fish, not get me. Get a freak, I'm looking for you. Get out that car. Most of the mechanics, you niggas. Just off jogging, I run with a fake. This nigga keep dissing, you know that I shot. Can't run a park, I can't run a fire. I keep trying to drag you, I kill y'all the kid. I don't speak on that nigga, I put him in the rest. I don't speak on that nigga, I put him in the bed. Put shit on that boy, got him in the bed. Now today, we're going to be talking about the story of the Xbox Five General, headshot gang, standover gang captain, the murderer for Moski. We're going to be talking about none other than Young Foot Soldier. Now, I'm not even sure where Young Foot is really from. Some say he's from Southwest. Others say from 10th place. All we know was that Young Foot was one of the most active rappers in the city. Eventually being locked up for trying to rob for a moose. Now I first noticed Young Foot on the scene as being one of Wardy's young soldiers. He would occasionally hop on tracks and rap about his lifestyle, often talking about following in his father's footsteps, who allegedly is locked up for murder. The most important part of his backstory seems to be the murder of his friend, Maurice Scott. Man, man. When you niggas gonna get back for y'all man? Or we'll get back for other bro too and other bro. Not hey young club, hey young broke his shit. Man. Come on, man. Long live Moski. Oh, no Moski on his planet. You said long live. You said long live Moski. Miss little Moski about Moski. I'm spent away. Been murdered for Mo. You niggas be cap. What about sh? He gone off the map. But young and I heard him. Speak on the moon. You know I'm coming. Looking out cars. Them niggas be running. Getting that kind. I spent with that fully. We headshot gang. They call us some bullets. Long live Moski. What are you saying? Jimmy, just keep saying that. On the heels of yet another murder in D.C. this morning, the community in Southeast gathered tonight to remember 15-year-old Maurice Scott. He was shot and killed last Sunday, just 15 years old. Ward 8 Council Member Trayon White says this marks the 18th child shot in that area just in the past nine months. Let that soak in. Our Jess Arnold spoke to the 15-year-old's mother and his friends tonight. After what looks to be hundreds of people gathered to say prayers and celebrate the life of 15-year-old Maurice Scott, they walked here to the corner store where that young life was ended. If Maurice was still here, what would he say? What would he do? You just gotta stand up for him, represent for him. It wouldn't take long for Young Foot to be rapping himself, going as the captain of his new rap group, HSG, otherwise known as Headshot Gang. But as all rap groups go, it wouldn't take long for his ops to start dissing him. Rappers from rival neighborhoods, Condon Terrace and Waller Place would come together forming the eight and they would start to diss HSG for their fallen member, Young Pack, who allegedly died trying to spin. My brother, your ass shot at. I get on the beat and I just drag. I step in the spot and get in my bag. I'm in the trap, I just break down a bag. We'll try 24, try and run up some cash. When it comes to your bitch, I smash on pass. I'm serving the ones, I shit in some glass. I'm half the bitch, face the jade and I map. Ain't no switch to the glitch and that nigga just cap. I'm robbing on white, got an X on my back. Burned over the whip, it came with some smack. I'm thugging with smoke and he keep 50 shots. Militant motion and you know I stay in the back. In the back of the back, try and run up some racks. I'm fucking with Skino, we stay in the trap. Bitches just opt out, nigga can't smack. Motion of us, beat up young and I'm trying to go spat. Nah, for real, nigga. I can talk about headshot, gang. Talk y'all taco season. Oh, 
close enough. Police say a man is dead and multiple people are hurt after a shooting at a 7-Eleven in Capitol Heights. Thanks for staying up late with us tonight. I'm Charlotte McBride. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz is live at the scene of that shooting. And Rafael, what are you learning about what happened there tonight? Charlotte, Prince George's County Police are saying that multiple people were shot here tonight and one of those victims, an adult male, was pronounced dead at a local hospital. It's still a very active scene here and according to police, pretty early on in their investigation, they are saying that they believe the shooting started inside the convenience store. But as you can see, there are dozens of evidence markers in the parking lot. A couple months after the death of Tallgrow, young foot could be seen linking up with Wardy and all the foxes. He wouldn't waste no time hopping on tracks and dissing all his ops. So many switches, it sound like a thunder. Let's go on that north and catch us a body. I wipe this nose, this young gets slimy. Three niggas with drinks, they know who it is. X about the young nigga standing on bids. Pat got hit cause it won this day. Wheelchair shorty, how he get away? Been murdered for mo, you niggas be cap. What about sh? He gone off the map. Joey be geeking, he working that black. In the height of their power, Fox 5 Gang was one of the strongest crews in all of DC. In songs with other members, people in the comments even claim that they formed the Hood Avengers. It's all about causing, it's all about murder. Speak on my name, but young and unheard of. Speak on Lamont, you know I'm coming. Looking out, cause them niggas be running. Getting that count, I spend with that fully. We headshot gang, they call us some bullets. We up in that count, spend with no rookies. Mess no mess, I'm working my drink. Young Foot, we even start to get close with the five star war general, Giz Wap. In videos, Giz would even claim some of his games. I just got out of shoot, I was working my drinks. Headshot gang hit a nigga in his face. Stand over gang, shoot your ass till I can't. And I murder for money, you know I'm a pain. Paint a bitch nigga picture with this drink. There's a war going on and you know that I'm spent. Man, the move went wrong and I ended up here. But as time would go on, tragedy would strike with the cousin of Young Foot, Akira Wilson, being murdered. Tonight, police offering us new details in this weekend's murder of a high school senior inside this Hilton Garden Inn near Union Station. Police say they responded here for the sound of a gunshot. They went inside, found a door ajar, and in the room, 18-year-old Akira Wilson, dead from a single gunshot wound from a handgun. Nah, I ain't selling no blows. Nigga just shot up the city and did me the show. Nah, I ain't riding both. No, I ain't fucking with young and I heard it too. Know that I wake up and pray. Nigga, I think about the cure. They took her away. Nigga, I think my little moose. Nigga, go jock me a cock. And Coleco Ford would then be killed by Jerbo, a Southwest rapper. And it's actually crazy that Jerbo's friend would eventually be killed too in a store by Mayfair Tron this crazy sadly after the deaths of bug and re jg ward and gizwa would soon be locked up this would lead to lots of dysfunction in fox 5 that allegedly 37th founder sir guap would end up robbing young foot now guap would first come on the scene in 2021 he would blow up along with his right hand man tripper 37 who we all know passed away trying to slide. Now it's no shock to me that someone like Guap, who claims they got rich off robberies and the right hand man at Trippa would rob Young Foot. But I think it's more to this rumor. After doing my homework, I realized that Young Foot used to terrorize the holes in Potomac High School. And while doing so, he ran into another Fox 5 member in a Young Whites who was also friends with the Money Set twins. Eventually, these two crews would start to beef, and it seemed like it wouldn't die down. As I remember in the initial robbing rumors, it was of Guap and Money Set. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but Money Set could be seen laughing at the Young Foot rumors over the jail. But even Money Set, being Mr. Streets in the jail, would be challenged while locked up and by none other than 1080 Pizza Face. Who you be the shit out of that in jail? Money Set? Yeah, oh yeah.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't want black money, Jack. He don't want that money. He don't want that. Yeah, he don't want that. I ain't even going that way, nigga. Now, in the September 2022 shooting that ended up sadly taking the life of Tall Crow, he wasn't the only one under gunfire that night. As rival rapper Lil Drop 8 was also shot and momentarily paralyzed by gunfire. On his recovery, he would immediately start to rap and begin dissing all his ops. Now, after this alleged robbery, we see Young Foot start to claim Fox 5 less and less. Ultimately, he would hit the transfer port, linking up with some friends in Congress Park. Congress Park being the original hood Lil Woosey was from. Right here, put this shit in the motherfucker in the vault or something. You hate it? Cause these niggas can't fuck with this duo. I mean, this trio. Hey, By this law, any street, any day, any car, hey, any car. Hey, kid, boy, or child, you bitch. Man, man. You hear me? Now, sometime in between this, the Southeast rapper that ended up making a tribute video to Lil Mosky, D Block Pippin, would end up being shot and put in a wheelchair. Now, with so many friends and associates being taken away or hurt to gun violence, but this was just adding more fuel to the fire that filled Young Flint. terrorizing the nation's capital, some of Young Fist's crew would end up being locked up. We all know of Congress Park rapper Young Rich 3 being locked up for the murder of 10-year-old Ariana Davis, but another associate of Young Foot would later be locked up. His associate known as Lil Dallas would end up being charged for the murders with the paperwork showing that he was identified for wearing some of the same clothes later on. Young Fist's crew wasn't the only ones being caught, as even his ops would end up being locked up. Rumors would start that Lil Drop is locked up for the alleged murder of Instant Whips, a DMV car salesman. But yet again, these are just rumors as Lil Drop isn't old enough for his paperwork to be released. With most of his crew being locked up left and right, it was only a matter of time for Young Foot. In his wintertime search for any moose or goose, he was robbing anyone that was moving loose, eventually chasing down someone with a whole ARP down the street. This person would eventually end up getting on a Metro bus where Young Foot would hop on the bus with the PZ robbing this runaway victim and shooting at the bus as it drove away. I mean, they just didn't care about life, waving guns at nearby passing cars, wearing the same clothes later on in social media. I mean, even Young Foot was on a run for a robbery on U Street. This will lead to Young Foot soldier being locked up and it just doesn't look like he'd be out anytime soon. Now this is where I wish the Young Foot Soldier story would come to an end. But it would later be revealed that he would run into none other than the Berry Farms legend in Fat Ye. That's my family. I'm playing like that, I'm gonna beat him up. I'm gonna beat him up. No, you with the red on you. What did I do, you? Men laugh at jokes, men don't play. I don't be on that. What did I do, man? I can't. Kurt, I only apologize. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, I'm gonna see you later, bro. <laughs> I'm 
I'm in the street like a star sign And you in the street like a star line We keep the steel like the drum My face had I can't pose on the front line My face had I can't pose on the front line Matt Yee, otherwise known as the heavyweight champion over the jails while locked up fat ye would be going cell to cell looking for his ops eventually running into the fox 5 captain and jg wardy now unfortunately it would take no time for fat ye to catch young foot posting this game is not for children and come get lil foot and joe from under the bunk that's a sad case but I fear it's just someone else that's gonna take Youngfoot's shoes. Who's next to fill his role in a DMV rap scene? Who knows?